Hello everyone, welcome to new video. Today you will learn how to install TrueNAS on VirtualBox. Visit Google and search for TrueNAS. Click on the first link. Now click on download TrueNAS Core. If you already sign up then click on no, thank you I already sign up. Now click on download stable. The file will start downloading. Wait for a while until the TrueNAS file downloading completes. Downloading file has been completed. Now open VirtualBox. I already have few machines installed so you ignore these. Click on New. Name your machine. I will call it TrueNAS Core. For type, choose other, and for version, choose other unknown. Click next. Now choose the memory size, I will select 8 GB memory size. Select create a virtual hard disk now. Select VDI disk image. For storage type select dynamic allocated. Now choose the size of the hard disk. I will choose around 31 GB. Click create. Now we have to link the downloaded TrueNAS ISO file to the optical drive. Go to Settings and click on Storage. Click on Empty Drive and click on Choose a Disk File. Choose the TrueNAS ISO file and click OK. Click on Start to run the TrueNAS machine. To capture your keyboard and mouse within the machine click inside the virtual machine window and click on Capture. Now press Enter to run the TrueNAS installer. Click Enter on Option 1 Install Upgrade. Now hit Space key on keyboard to select the hard disk for TrueNAS. Now hit Enter again for next step. Hit enter on yes and create a password. Now choose boot via BIOS. Now wait for a while until the installation process is complete. Once the installation process completes, TrueNAS requires a restart. Choose Shutdown System and hit Enter. Wait for a while until the machine shutdowns. Now we have to create two virtual hard disks. Click on Settings, click on Storage and click on Hard Drive icon on the plus sign. Click on Create and choose the size about 40 GB. Click Create and choose. We have to create another hard drive because TrueNAS needs at least two hard disks. Click on plus sign on hard disk and click on Create. Choose another 40 GB space. Click Create and choose. Now we have two hard disks to work with. Great! Now we have to remove the installation file from the optical drive. Click on the optical drive and click on the load media icon and click remove. Click OK and click on start. Wait for a while until the machine loads up. Press enter to boot from TrueNAS. You have to wait little while until things get ready.
Once all done you will get an IP address to log in. Now open your browser and type the IP address in the address bar and hit enter. This isn't working and the problem is we haven't set the internet connection for the virtual machine. Let's fix the issue. I will shut down the machine. Click on machine and then click on ACPI shutdown. Wait for a while until the machine shutdowns completely. Now go to settings and click on network. From the drop down click on bridge adapter and click OK. Now click on start. Now press enter to boot from Trunas. Wait for a while until the machine loads up. Now type the IP address which was given by Trunas on the screen. Trunas dashboard loads up. Now enter the username as root and type the password which you have chosen earlier. Open storage menu and click on disks. We can see all disks listed here. We have to create pool. Click on pools and click on add. Click on create pool. Now select the available hard drives and click on right arrow. Give a name to your pool. Select all the hard drives on the right and select the mirror if you have two hard drives. Now click create and confirm. Wait until the pool is created. Pool has been created. Now we have to add a dataset to the pool. Click on the three dots menu on the right and click on add dataset. Give a name to your database. I will name it VirtualBox user. Click submit. Database has been added to the pool. Now click on sharing and click on Windows shares. Click on add. Now choose the pool name which you created earlier. Click on Submit. Click on Enable Service. Now click on Accounts and Groups and click on Add. Give a name to the group and click Submit. Now we have to add users. Click on Users. Click on Add. Give a name. Choose a password. Click on Submit. Now I have to edit some permissions with the usernames I have created. Choose your desired username and group name and apply both of them and click Submit.
Now let's access the shared folder we have created on the Windows. Copy the IP address from the dashboard. Open Explorer and type slash slash and paste the IP address which you have copied. Hit enter. Wait for a while until it loads up. Congratulations! The shared folder loads up. Now we can create folders and files or transfer the data to the NAS. If you like the video then please hit like and subscribe so I can continue making these videos. Thanks for watching.